Hi all, welcome to Street Solar Life. I hope you have seen the videos which was published uh, related to the solar panel and other technologies uh, at our channels. Um, we want you to be clear when you're using the solar panels purely based upon the locations where you are going to install the systems and uh, and then you have to see a lot of uh, engineering criteria so before going to select the solar panels. So, uh, we are trying to uh, give the perfect uh, uh, solar calculations for the location wise. Uh, so I hope uh, this information will help a lot of uh, people who are being involved in the solar panel installation as well. Yeah, and today we are going to talk about uh, the solar panel locations. So uh, uh, let me check. Yeah, uh, it, the locations will be the uh, Jharkhand. It's the city of the Ranchi. It's uh, we could say the exact location could be the Radisson Blue Hotel and uh, yeah Radisson Blue Hotel um, and then Sam Jang Smart Plaza so near to that uh, today we are going to talk about the uh, solar panel sizings yeah and uh, let me check what are the details yeah so when you design the solar panels uh, you have to see all the parameters uh, to the panels like uh, specification of the panel we could say is you have to see the specification panels specification of the panel as well as you have to see the sub circuits called the um, conversion key, charge controllers, batteries, everything so. Uh, um, the thing is so, um, you have to see the lot of uh, weather condition as well so before uh, selecting the panels you know before installing the system to that particular locations so you have to see, see the weather condition as well. What we do is uh, we used to take the prehistoric data for the weather conditions uh, for the particular locations and then we used to size all the calculations related to the solar. Okay, so what are the readings we are training on this video that will be uh, suitable for that only locate for that uh, particular locations. If you are shipping the same kind of design to some areas, uh, that will be impact on the panel readings. So, so that's what we are trying to explain here. Uh, the selection of the solar panel is purely based upon the locations where you are going to install it, and you have to see the lot of uh, characteristics uh, and lot of parameters. You have to double check it before going to that. Yeah. Uh, so uh, now let's see like uh, assume we have uh, any other uh, residential commercial to the locations um, so we consider some basic load uh, um, uh, like uh, we used to calculate the basic loads which is required for the daily consumptions and then weekly and monthly and early so whatever the readings we are telling so here on this video uh, it's going to be seen for the entire year and we used to calculate uh, you know we took the all historic data we used to forecast of the weather conditions so if you are selecting the grade old panels so this is the exact reading for the next 20 years so that's what we are trying to explain here yeah uh, let's uh, we'll go uh, what calculations we have considered here uh, 25 watts uh, it's a four numbers we are running five hours per day 10 watts loads uh, eight numbers uh, eight hours running per day 100 watts loads uh, four numbers 6 hours running per day, 100 watts loads, 2 numbers, 4 hours running per day, 50 watts load, 2 number, 12 hours running per day. Uh, the thing is, um, uh, we have uh, calculated uh, all these load based upon the 100 percentage of duty cycles. So according to these calculations, uh, uh, you need uh, almost 2022 uh, units uh, re required. It means that the power consumption for this load, if you are running for the entire year, you need 2022 units for required for the entire year. Um, so to uh, achieve these uh, in years, so you have to size the solar panels based upon these calculations, and then you have to see this panel specifications, as well as you have to see the weather condition, etc. Even we have considered all the panel losses, uh, and then um, derating factor, dust, etc. You know, it means to say uh, you don't have to clean the panels repeatedly like a week or a day you know once in a uh, um, uh, once in a, a month or something like that you don't have to do that you can do it uh, probably in uh, once in three or six months that is more than sufficient yeah uh, so here whatever the uh, sizings we are telling that's going to be for the next 20 years like once you install the systems that's the same performance will be generated for all the 20 years this is a total units that's going to give for the entire 20 year for the all every year you will see the readings there will be uh, no mismatch on these readings so that's what we are trying to explain here and once you select the solar panel you have to see uh, the sub circuits and you have to look into the 
protections levels, what kind of protections we are going to give that. So we have to work out on that. To store these energies, so we have considered the one day story, uh, one day autonomy. We call it autonomy here technically. Uh, we consider the day autonomy. Uh, if you are increasing the autonomy, probably you can put in multiple batteries. You know, you can put a series of tally completions and can go ahead. No issue. Yeah. Uh, here we have consider uh, to store this energy. You need to consider uh, eight numbers of batteries uh, for day autonomy. Yeah. Uh, when you select the batteries as well, you have to see the DODs and a lot of battery characteristics as well, and you have to see the cutoff level as well. If you are charging more energies, we are discharging this is very less. And uh, or if you are charging the certain level of the power, uh, if you are generating certain level of power, you are dra you are draining the charge, um, you are discharging the load uh, very frequently. Uh, that also will have more impact on the battery life. Uh, so you have to calculate from the generation point of view and to discharge point of view, and you have to see, see the protection circuits for the entire systems. Uh, yeah, uh, that's how it's supposed to be. That is in the systems. Uh, we want you to be clear uh, the solar panel is not purely uh, based upon the kilowatt and kV and so on so it's purely uh, uh, is based upon the locations we are going to install and you have to see the panel uh, specification too yeah here according to these calculations you have to go with uh, 2400 WP panels uh, for generating this many units for the entire year you know uh, I hope um, I think we have considered, you know, even we have considered from the January to December, all the weather conditions we have taken and we evaluate all the engineering specifications and then we do the sizing. So that's how we do that. Yeah. Uh, I hope uh, all the points has been covered in this video. Um, if you have any concerns related to the solar panels um, at your locations, probably you can uh, put a mail to sri-solarlife at gmail.com and there are people who have been involved in for the solar panel installations everywhere. You may have more concern about the system, how it's supposed to be, what exact uh, loads you are getting, so uh, what units you are ge uh, generating. So you are not sure. Uh, you, may have, you may have more concerns. So probably uh, you need to consult with the experts. Probably you can contact Street Solar Life at gmail.com. Uh, we are the people who had many years experience in the global project for the solar and other technologies. It's true. Probably we are here to help you a lot on the systems, how it's supposed to be designed and all. Yeah. And thank you for watching this video. Thanks again. Bye.